Hello Internet! Today we have this 3080 from Zotac. Card arrived in a very good condition. There isn't even much dust under the fan, which means it ran in a clean environment. But with all that, somehow it's made its way to my table, so obviously something got broke. Customer stated artifacts, crashes and the blue screen of death. Not sure what else is there to mention. Uh, diarrhea maybe? I don't know, so let's boot it up and find out. No video output on the monitor, and the screen goes blue. I don't think this is the blue screen of death. In any case, I will switch to a built-in video adapter and run a memory test, which at first appeared to be complaining about E1, but it isn't. You'll find out why it's not E1 later in the video, so stick around. Following my previous assumed diagnosis, I will count the chips starting from A1, including the unpopulated area, and mark E1 as a primary suspect. Once the board was prepared for a chip removal, I realized that I made a mistake marking the wrong chip. But for the sake of the education, I decided to proceed with the removal of the wrong chip so that we can all learn something today. Okay. okay, chip is replaced. Resistances are normal, so let's boot and see if we get a picture this time. Nope, no picture. But why? I'll run the memory test again, and it's still complaining about the same channel. And the reason for that is my misunderstanding of mods report. You see, mods does not report unpopulated channel. And if we look back at the test result, we can see that mods jumped from 2nd to 4th channel, and I didn't notice it at first, thus making a false assumption and replacing the wrong chip in the end. No problem there, we're just gonna put the chip we have removed in place of the correctly identified faulty chip, and uh, that should work. There we have it. I got the picture, which means we don't have any memory problems. I'll go ahead and assemble the card, and do what I always do on this channel. Stress the living soul out of this GPU before sending it out back to its owner. Hopefully it won't suffer from PTSD upon arrival. That will be it for this repair. Please support my channel with a like, comment, subscribe for more, and have a blessed day. Goodbye.